Will a hot root beer float become the new goat? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to see if foods that are usually eaten hot should actually be eaten cold and vice versa. But before we get into temperature swapping, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh offers step-by-step -step recipes that are super easy to follow and their pre-portioned ingredients help cut down on prep time so you'll have more time to get outside this spring. And speaking of getting outside, Yes, Rhett, I did get your text this morning. Oh, which one? Mm, the one that said swimsuit season is around the corner. Yes, my annual swimsuit season alert text. <laughs> I also saw the reminder on our shared calendar. Yep. And the sticky note uh -huh. on our office door. Well, it is around the corner. And HelloFresh offers veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals when you're trying to look good for my favorite season, swimsuit season, which is just around the corner. Uh -huh. HelloFresh's newest menu release includes Mediterranean recipes that are filled with fresh fruits and veggies, nuts, olive oils, and fiber-packed whole grains for nourishing balance. You know, swimsuit season is great in the Mediterranean. It, let's Put a pause on swimsuit season and enjoy a bite of these citrus oh, port yes. tacos with pickled onion and Southwest crema. Get you one of those, Link. Okay. They got crema. Look at that, it's ready to be bitten. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's HelloFresh.com and use code GMM16 for up to 16 free meals and Three surprise gifts. Enjoy swimsuit season. Uh-huh. And thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. All right, typically, I like my cold foods chilly mm -hmm. and my hot foods steamy. Why? Because I don't live in the back rooms. Oh, I love the back rooms. I enjoy experiencing the dread and isolation of liminal space. Come on, let's go visit the food level. It's time for <laughs> hot food cold versus cold food hot, which ain't worth a lick and which is worth a shot. We posted a series of matchups where we pitted a typically hot dish made cold against a traditionally cold dish prepared hot, and you voted on which ones you thought we would like better. Be sure to follow us on Instagram to vote next time. And now, we have done this once before, but you mm -hmm. know what? There is more to explore. The Mythical Kitcheneers have made these temperature swaps come to life, and now we're gonna see how well you know our palates. You're gonna uh, get a point? Uh, yeah, you're I'm gonna, gonna have a brain fart. Yeah. You're gonna get a point for each round the majority of you guessed correctly. If you get three or more points, the same prize awaits you. We're gonna sing your praises in Good Mythical more. But if you don't, here's a new punishment. We're gonna post a picture of us holding a hacky sack on Instagram, yeah. and y'all gotta comment, it's a sack, I'm a hack. I like it. All right, let's do some hot cottage cheese Yum. with hot berries versus cold mashed potatoes with cold gravy. This doesn't immediately gross me out. Yeah, I Just mean it. hot cheese soup. Yes, you mind if I stir? Um, sh sure, go for it. You know, let's get. I, mean, I kind of want, what is this, a dried cherry? That's a blueberry. It's a dried blueberry. Oh, it's just, everything, all the fruit is shriveled because. It's hot. It's cause it's been hotified. This so is sort of like, it looks like a good oatmeal. Mm. I mean, I really like <laughs> cold cottage cheese. It's my favorite cheese, I think. Oh, that is unlike anything I expected. That is wonderful. It's sour. That is wonderful. I don't know really? that this is wonderful. Hold on. How, as somebody whose favorite cheese is cottage cheese, how could you not like this? It's just cottage cheese. It didn't, didn't change the taste of it. It changed the temperature. And the consistency, consistency, it's so consistent. drastic mixly. I can't it made say any soup. words right. It made consistency a drastically. If I would have to be told that this was not intended to just be exactly as it is, well, it's a I, cheese soup. I, I, love it. I love the like soft yet curdy yeah. part of cottage cheese, and that's gone. It's gone. It's just even softer now. It isn't bad. I would go as far I mean, as to say it's. You're trying to make it an improvement over cottage cheese, and that might, hurts my feelings. It might be better than cold cottage cheese with berries in it. That hurts my feelings. Um, now this, on the other hand, this can't. Cold gravy. I bet this is what they voted for because this is what I would vote for. 
the thing that we're going to like more. Oh, is it like more? Nope. Then they wouldn't. I bet they didn't vote. And we and we don't try. We don't try to guess what they said. We just tell, we say which one we prefer. Yeah. And then they just they're either right or wrong. I didn't want to take a bite of this. You know what? I don't think this is bad. I mean, it's still got all the taste that you would need to taste. Hmm. Cold gravy is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. But that's that's some good cold gravy. Yeah, homemade. Could be done wrong, but you did it right. But I don't immediately want more of it. This I want to keep going back to. I will tell you, it's not bad. This does seem like an entirely new dish, and once you know what to expect, it's not it's it's not bad at all. Hot cheese soup, and I know you're already voting for it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with you because this is just tolerable, but it I keep thinking it's backwards. We like this one. Did more. you predict we would? Sixty-one percent of the mythical beasts thought that you'd like the cold mashed potatoes and gravy better. I really? wonder, wonder why they thought that. It was probably because the phrase hot cottage cheese needs some branding help. Yeah. Yeah. I kinda like a hot cottage. <laughs> you know? Like, like a like warm cottage on fire. Yeah, yeah. Go all the way. Yeah, right. So my cottage is burning. I don't know. I think y'all are wrong. Well, you definitely are wrong. <laughs> Hope you're hungry because we've got hot Caesar salad versus chili. Chili dog. I mean, this is disturbing to look at because I mean, how did you how did you make this hot? I stir fried it. You just and you seem so proud. Yeah. <laughs> well, now hold it's on. Brown. The fact that you stir fried it makes me think. Think about just like uh, sautéed cabbage or okay. sa sautéed spinach. Yeah. You know? You're such yeah. a positive man, Rhett. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, it, I know. It, it is about that expectation, the marketing. I got this crouton. Crouton should still be crunchy, right? And think about an artich a spinach and artichoke dip. That's hot. Yeah, but it doesn't have like wilted lettuce. Yeah, if I go into like a wilted spinach territory. Lettuce doesn't hold up as well as uh, spinach in the uh, the pan. No. But if you had just taken it and just made it hot with like a microwave, it would be utterly nasty. And this is just, not my fave. Yeah, the taste is just still not my fave. Intact. So we've got the um, the play on words with the chili chili dog here. And Isn't it's, that cute? It's very cold. Like the bun is cold. It's not just room temperature. Yeah, because I try to get to a point where it's like if you leave the hot dog out for a long time and you live in a cold climate, yeah, then this is just this is their room temperature. Right. I'm gonna just push the dog a little bit forward. Yeah. So the dog. And then I'm gonna push some toppings a little yeah, bit to the side. Doing the same thing here. Yeah, just to make the perfect bite there. It definitely has a cold climate leftover feel. No. Oh boy! I didn't shouldn't have visited Michigan this time of year. Right, boy? Upper Peninsula. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not bad. I used to as Not a kid as a kid, I would go into because my, my neighbor Peter, um, uh huh. He told me about raw hot dogs. Okay. Which is just going into the, the fridge and grabbing a hot dog uncooked and just eating. It. I mean, it's but it is pre cooked. It's not really raw. But as so, kids, we see, didn't know. He, he was doing reverse marketing on you. It's like, oh, this is unsafe. But he was it's like, scary. you, you got to try it. And so it's like one time when my mom wasn't looking, I ate a cold wiener. Yeah. And um, I never looked back. Honestly. That's your preference? No. I mean, I I eventually became a man. Well, I mean, and, uh, that, you, can, you when you say never look back, that kind of implies that that's that you I'm never like, eat in my again. childhood. I never looked back. I, 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 I mean, I still enjoyed hot hot dogs, but I would sneak a cold wiener if you okay. weren't if you weren't watching me too close. Sounds like you looked I was, back. I, I was ashamed, but you would look ashamed. back from looking back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. You never looked back. You never looked. You looked forward and then yeah, yeah. kept looking back right. occasionally. But even as a cold wiener liker, I'm. I want you to do the voting here because I, I think both of these are trying to actually stand. That's, na that's na this is nasty. Um, I think it's okay. This is just this is just a cold wiener in the breeze. <laughs> yeah, the Michigan breeze. Right. Sixty-eight percent of the mythical bees thought that you'd like the cold chili dog better. Yeah. You had to know that just because of the, just because of that, the floppy greenery. Yeah. And next, vying for the opportunity to be licked by a golden tongue, we've got hot root beer in float form versus cold instant ramen. 
What you think, man? I feel like you might have to sit this one out because you don't like root beer. I mean, you know, because I'm it, looking for a discovery though. I think the hot cottage. I think this is gonna be was good. a discovery. But uh, other than that, I haven't been too intrigued. Because like, I love a root beer flavor. I don't mind hot milk. Maybe this will turn me on to the root beer. This is exactly. I mean, this could be like a holiday drink. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could go to a wassail. I think it's better than root beer. Oh, hey, it's creamy. You you you've it, added you've added the ice cream, of course. Yeah, melted ice cream. Which makes it float, and which that's like a really really thick better. milk. You know, if you added a whole lot of ice That's cream so and good. like al almost no root beer, I think I'd really love a root beer float, even hot. <laughs> but it kind of just tastes like a new latte at Starbucks. That's like yeah, just as sweet as root something. Beer root beer flavored. Uh, what would we call that? Because you give it a name, and this thing's definitely gonna win. So we're gonna put this here for now. Oh, oh this is the new technique. I mean, what, that's how strongly we preliminarily. Think about it, you know? The fact that you're into it makes me think. Yeah. Oh, cold. Sorry, yes. Ramen. Chopsticks. Cool ramen ain't never hurt nobody, right? Right? Right. Right. right? Oh. <laughs> I'm got it on my fork. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Nothing heinous happening. I mean, so, but, I mean, part of that ramen experience is the hotness. It's definitely not as good as hot ramen. <laughs> no but way. It's, but it's not bad. Yeah, but it's just not anything new. And this when is a new thing. New happens. I'm glad you put you, the golden tongue. You here cannot already. deny it. See, it's conveniently there. And you knew this, right? Sixty-one percent of the mythical beasts thought that you would like the cold ramen better. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come on, hey, 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 come on now. All right, now we've got hot oysters. That makes sense to me. And cold eggs, Benedicts. Oh. Uh, uh, now, Oysters I'm Rockefeller gonna, gonna that. is already a hot oyster, right, Stevie? You're an oyster lover. Well, Whoa. I mean, Nicole would have to speak to how these were prepared. I'm thinking a little bit differently. Yeah, so I pretty much just put it under the broiler for like three minutes just to get it warmed. And it is safe for you to consume. I've temp checked everything. So you can swallow it without any problems, not get sick. Not really, though. You, you have my word on that part. Why are you saying it so suspiciously? I don't know. Like, I wasn't even thinking it wasn't going to be safe. I mean, I just did, I don't know. I just don't want you to, like, feel bad. But is not an Oysters Rockefeller a hot oyster? Yeah, but it has, like, stuff on it's it. It's got a bunch of stuff on it. And it's, like, fully, like, it's, like, no trace of, like, rawness or anything. But this one, you know, it's, like, warmed. So basically, it's raw but hot. Yes, and it's hot, safe raw. to consume. It's hot, raw, and safe to consume. And <laughs> hot, raw is is hot, raw cooked? Not necessarily. Not Just because something gets hot doesn't get cooked. What is this in the middle? It's a mignonette. It's a hot mignonette. It's like vinegar and shallots. It's good. I thought that was like a little puppet show. No, that's a marionette, silly. Oh, <laughs> and why? And why is it on it. charcoal? Uh, because theme. instead of like, theme? yeah, it's like a theme. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like Disneyland. I'm afraid to do what you're doing. Oh, you're going to eat it right out of the sh uh, shell, I thought. I, I don't want to cut my lips. Well, I don't want to cut my lips. Oh, gosh, it smells horrible. Hot raw. Yeah, it's raw, but it's hot. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, now I understand. Uh, yeah, this I, is I, not a Rockefeller. Now I understand. The Rockefellers would not stand for this. Uh, 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 hot and raw. Uh, I mean, it, I, I eat so few of these that like I'm just like, yeah, this is this is my oyster experience. Period. You're saying when you eat a cold one, it, this is how it feels to you? Yeah. I'm sorry, man. I'm really sorry. I actually get this more than normal. I no, just still don't the, like it. The cold feels refreshing. It feels like I reached into the ocean and like a mermaid and pulled it right out. Exactly. That's gross. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming that this is gonna still be like a poached egg. It is but a cold. poached egg. Yeah. Why don't you just pick it up and bite it? I need a knife. Oh my gosh! It's you just Hollandaise. You just put it in the fridge. Yeah. Holland freezed. That's the show. You can see I got to the poached egg that, oh look, just in case you're wondering if it was poached, look, there it is running, yeah. but it's cold. I, this has put me in a bad headspace. 
um, I know I was mean to you at the end of the last round, and now I'm, I'm getting my just desserts. I hate both of these. Me too, man. I think I hate these more. I hate, I hate this more. I would say, because this is something that just give it a name. Does, it's Rockefellers, but not done. Hot oyster, a hoister. Give it a, it's a hoister. I'm, I'm saying. Oh, no. You like this? No. You hate this more? Yeah. Which uh, is why I'm trying to do this. So you like this one more. Okay, I agree. Yeah, Rat. I don't really have an opinion. <laughs> I'm neutral. That's exciting. <laughs> They're both bad. 60 do your job, man. Percent of the mythical beasts thought that you would like the Cold eggs Benedict better. Well, see, now we're gonna feel even better about putting this on Instagram. You only got you, one, you, are, right. you had already lost. Um, we had to be honest, and I'm glad it didn't come down to this because apparently uh, you didn't care. Well, no, they also had already lost. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta post that, uh, it's a sack, I'm a hack. As a comment underneath what we posted. Go over there. This hack a sack. Do it. Thanks for subscribing, clicking that bell. Don't don't, don't be mad at me for, for what I said. Yeah. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> you know what time it is. That'd be dumb. Hi, I'm Mia, and this is Anchorage, Alaska. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. <laughs> and she was never seen again. <laughs> Until she jumped into that, I thought it was like a mural. Uh, yo, an, an Anchorage mural. <laughs> Flip the tight link to watch us guess the best and worst pop songs of the year by their lyrics and good mythical more. And to find out where the will of mythicality is going to land. Head over to sport.com for a ranking of all the best Oreo flavors, the best root beers to drink, and the only seltzers you should be sipping this summer.